Mr. Kimmelman, what do you make of Comcast's argument that they don't compete against each other at all? Doesn't that really underestimate the anti-competitive implications of this deal? Um, absolutely, Senator Frank. It is true they, they don't overlap geographically, but that is not the entire competitive analysis either for the uh, Department of Justice or for the Federal Communications Commission. The question here is, are there ways in which they can leverage unfairly? Do they have excess market power? Can they drive up prices? Can they harm quality and innovation? And there are numerous ways in which they can do that. Um, if Time Warner can no longer discipline their pricing for NBC programming, prices will go up there. They probably will go up across the entire distribution chain, uh, harming consumers everywhere. Um, having the additional uh, leverage of Time Warner as part of the Comcast family gives them enormous power over how the Internet develops the ability to offer new innovative services, what devices, what consumer interfaces work. If they have almost half of the customers in the country, that's what manufacturers will make. Products for that half meet their specifications. If they continue to want that to be through a bundled, high-priced set of services, I'm sure it will be. These are all enormous dangers that have, that have significant competitive impacts and tremendous harm for consumers.